السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وإنما توعدون لآت وما أنتم بمعجزين الله is whom we praise we praise him and we thank him and we seek refuge in him from the evil of our own souls and the evil of our actions. Whomsoever he guides, none can misguide him. And whomsoever he leads astray, none can guide to the truth. And I bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship but God Almighty alone, and that Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is his slave and messenger. O you who believe, be mindful of Allah as he should be minded, and do not die except as Muslims. O mankind, be mindful of your Lord who created you from one soul, and from that soul its mate, and from those two spread many men and many women. And be mindful of those you ask your rights from, and be mindful of the wombs that bore you, for indeed Allah is ever watchful over you. 
O you who believe, be mindful of Allah and speak the truth. He will guide you to righteous deeds and forgive you of your sins. And whomsoever obeys Allah and his messenger has achieved the greatest achievement. The best of speech is Allah's speech. And the best of guidance is Muhammad's guidance. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the worst of affairs are those newly introduced into faith. And everything newly introduced into faith is an innovation and every innovation goes astray. And everything which goes astray leads to the hellfire. And that which is, has been promised will come to pass. And there is nothing that can be done to avert it. Al-Imam al-Hakim, rahimahullah ta'ala, as well as al-Tabarani, narrate in their collections of hadith from Sahal ibn Sa'ad, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Atani Jibreel, faqala li ya Muhammad, عش ما شئت فإنك ميت وأحبب من شئت فإنك مفارق وعمل ما شئت فإنك مجزي به وعلم أن شرف المؤمن قيامه بالليل وعزه استغناؤه عن الناس The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the angel Jibreel came to me and he said O oh Muhammad Live as you wish, for eventually you are dead. And love whoever you wish, for eventually you will leave them. And do whatever you please, for you will be rewarded for what you have done. Know that the prayer at night, know that a believer's honor is his prayer at night, and his dignity is his independence from others. This hadith of the Prophet ﷺ contains immense wisdom. Al Imam al Ghazali, rahimahullah ta'ala, describing this hadith, said, Hadha al hadith qad jama'a hikam al awaleen wal akhirin. This hadith collects for us the wisdom of all past generations and all later generations. The Prophet ﷺ here is being spoken to on a personal level by Jibreel. Not coming to him and saying, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Nabi Allah. Instead calling him by his first name. Generally calling the Prophet ﷺ by his first name is frowned upon for those that are less than him. But Jibreel السلام, has a purpose in saying this. And to make the message personal. Meaning that it's applicable not only to the Prophet ﷺ as a prophet but him as a man. And because it's applicable to him as a man, as a human being, it is then applicable to every person in his ummah as well. Live as you will. Live for however long you want or however long you think you will, you'll, you'll live. Eventually, you are dead. The inevitability of passing away is one thing that none of us can escape. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Prophet this in the Quran, إِنَّكَ مَيِّتُونَ وَإِنَّهُمْ مَيِّتُونَ Indeed, you are dead and they also are dead. Countering the ideas of Quraysh, who thought that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was erecting himself as someone to be worshipped or revered other than Allah. Setting himself up forever. No. You will pass away as they will pass away. What will happen after all of that? You will return to your Lord and be questioned for what you had done. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about creation in general. Kullu man alayha fan. Everyone on it, everyone in it, will be annihilated. وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ Yet the face of your Lord, full of bounty, 
and magnificence will remain. There will come a day when everything in creation will be annihilated. As he started creation, it will be returned to that. And Allah will be by himself. Like the day before he created the heavens and the earth. And he will say, Ana al-Malik, Aina muluk al-Dunya. I am the king. Where are the kings of this lowly life? And then the trumpet will be blown again, and everything will come back into creation. Inna ka mayyitun wa inna hum mayyitun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said about us, every single one of us, believer, disbeliever, young, old, healthy, sick, regardless, kullu nafsin dha'iqatul mawt. Every soul shall taste death. Ibn al-Jawzi rahimahullah ta'ala, he says, it's obligatory for anyone who doesn't know when they're going to die to be ready for that moment. And they should not be fooled by their youth and their vigor. Because most people who die are young. More people die young than they do old, which is why we have so few old people. So prepare for that moment before it comes to you. Because it is rare for those, rare for anyone to reach old age. Al-Hasan, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said, إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ أَيَّامٌ مَجْمُوعَةٌ كُلَّمَا مَضَى يَوْمٌ مَضَى بَعْضُكُ You are only a collection of days. When one day passes, part of you has passed as well. أَقُولُ مَا تَسْمَعُونَ وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ وَلِسَأَلِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ مِنْ كُلِّ ذَمْ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوهُ إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Alhamdulillahi wahda wa salatu wa salamu ala man la nabiya ba'da wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man ittaba'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen. These cold winter days and these long winter nights should be a reminder for us of the inevitability that all time will pass. Just a few weeks ago, a few months ago, we were enjoying the summer. We were enjoying time off. Now we're back with a new year, with new responsibilities, with changes in the weather, changes in our health, changes in society. All of that should tell us that our time on this earth is very limited. Each and every one of us inevitably will die. And therefore, we may need to make the decisions now to put away what will last forever in the next life. If a person was sitting on cash and doing nothing with it, you would say to them, why don't you invest it? Why don't you do something? At least give charity. Because you look at it as being irresponsible for them to have such great wealth and not spend it on others or spend it on themselves. Because time in the market is greater than time in the market. You're never going to find the one moment in life where you're going to be rich, but you can make yourself rich by constantly putting away money, spending in charity, or investing. Now think about the moments of life that you have left. The hours, the minutes, the seconds. How many millions of seconds do you have left? How do you spend each and every one of those moments? Have you prepared for that moment when the angel of death will come to you and will call out for your soul to exit from your throat? Allahumma ghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit aqdamana ya rabbil alameen wa Allah forgive us of our sins and our transgressions and our affairs and make our feet firm O Lord of the worlds Allahumma inna nas'aluka Allahumma inna nas'aluka rilaq Allahumma inna nas'aluka rilaq Allahumma inna nas'aluka rilaq O Allah we ask that you be pleased with us O Allah we ask that you be pleased with us O Allah, we ask that you be pleased with us. O Allah, allow us to be from those that prepare for our deaths. 
O oh Allah, allow us to be from those that, went, that, that meet you on the day of judgment, pleased with what we've put forth, and pleased with you, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ibadullah, إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله العزيز الجليل يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وأقم الصلاة